And on the mound for Milwaukee, it is the 32-year-old right-hander Colin Ray who gets the start. Perdomo off the fish, shallow center. In comes Weimer to make the catch. One up, one down for Colin Ray. It'll bring up Gattel Marte. Quite been what they like. This is hit toward the left field line, and Yelich will watch it bounce in fair territory up into the seats. It's a ground rule double for Cattell. That brings up Corbin Carroll. He is second in the major league in both slugging percentage and OPS, trailing only the Angels Shohei Otani. That one squirts throw into center. Here comes Cattell Marte. Corbin Carroll's at it again. The Diamondbacks have an early lead. Love those early leads. Yesterday it stretched to six to nothing in the first inning. Hopefully we'll get a few more here in the first tonight. It's still very early now. It's just a one run lead. Let's see if Corbin Carroll's in motion over there. Here's Christian Walker. And he hits oh. it right through the hole out there. Corbin Carroll heads for third. Taylor made for Christian Walker. And they're on the corners. Well, it's a start at third base tonight for Evan Longoria. Ground ball hit towards short. Adamas picks it clean and throws out Longoria. Three consecutive one out hits in the first has given Ryan Nelson the early lead. Leadoff hitter is Christian Yelich. Rolls over to second for Marte. And there's one away. And William Contreras is going to be the batter. This is in the air, hanging up there for Jake McCarthy in right field. And there's two outs. Telez, big left handed hitter. That might stay playable for Corbin Carroll, drifting toward the line, and he's got enough room. So quickly, one retired, and here is Carson Kelly, who is hitless since coming off the injured list. That's a fair ball down the line. Carson Kelly in the hit column, and he will head for second base. It's an easy stand-up double. And there is a walk by McCarthy to set up first and second. And with two down, that brings up Cattell Marte. This is line to right. Cattell Marte gone. Oh, he slammed it out of here. And the Diamondbacks again have jumped on the Brewers early. It's four to nothing. That was an absolute missile out of here. That hit the facing of the second deck out there in about two seconds. And banged off the signage out there. You could hear that from way out here. Put a dent in the sign out there. 111 miles an hour off the bat. The 11th of the year for Cattell. One away. That brings up Anderson, the third baseman. He says this has really been a long struggle for him. Never had anything like this in his career. It's a fair ball down into the left field corner. Willie Adamas will be held at third as Brian Anderson digs into second. He is yet to be retired by Arizona in the series. And the Brewers in business now with only one out. Luis Urias is the batter. Well, that's a problem. Urias out towards left. Carroll back on the warning track. Jumps. It's over his head and off the wall. One run will score. They'll hold Anderson. It's an RBI double for Urias. Yeah, double for Urias. Brian Anderson was tagging up, and he has to stop at third base. Uh, he's explaining to Jason Lane why he was tagging up. He thought the ball was going to be caught. His idea was if that ball is going to be caught, you know the run was going to be able to score. Adamas was going to score. He was thinking about getting to third base. Corbin Carroll misses this one by plenty. But he's able to keep Anderson at third. And now it's up to Nelson to try and attack Weimer and leave those two runners in scoring position. Got him, Ryan Nelson with a big strike out there to win the Milwaukee threat. Billy Adamas with his second hit of the night, and the Brewers have their leadoff man aboard here in the bottom of the fourth. Here's a guy that the Brewers need to get going in a bad way, Jesse Winker. And Winker to center. Deep. It is gone. Boy, I bet that felt good for Jesse Winker. Well, it had that sound, didn't it? He knew it was gone when he made contact. Now that is a monkey off his back. You know he's been thinking about that. First time as a Brewer that he has gone deep, and he gets to wear the cheese. But not in time to get Longoria, who's got the infield single. Carson will get an at-bat against the lefty here. Got his first base hit of the season, and the second, a double. That one gets by Milner. Carson's on the run. Adamas. Throws it to first, and Thomas is going to get third here as Telez can't collect it. It extends the inning and gives McCarthy a chance with two outs now. That's even better. Arias knocks it down. He can't collect it. Alec Thomas is home, and it's 5-3. to three. McCarthy on base for the second time today. That's an RBI base hit. Well, that ball was hit pretty hard. It's amazing that Arias even got to that. Keep it on the infield that time. Knocked it down. It trickled a little bit away from him, but everybody's safe. Another run on the board. Now Geraldo Perdomo, who's been one of the best hitters with runners in scoring position in the league. 
Ground ball towards the middle. Adamas fields. Flips to Urias and they got him. Great play by Willie Adamas to stop the bleeding. And Urias took low. He works the walk. Blake Perkins representing the tying run. Ground ball right side. Marte Hello. took too much time. Perkins beat it out. Wow. How about that. What a mistake. Not sure what he's thinking. He was thinking about second base maybe. But by the time he decided to throw to first base too late. Tying run is on base. Joey Weimer the lead run at the plate. Off the glove. Marte spins, throws, safe at second. They're loaded. I tell you, Perkins has been busting it on the bases. Able to beat it at first base and now able to beat it at second base. Calling the field is safe. The deflection giving the Brewers life. The bases are loaded. And one swing of the bat from Christian Yelich could put a jolt into this crowd. Ground ball softly hit. Nelson off the mound. Fields flips. Brewers get a run to make it five to four. Everybody else up 90 feet. Do you want to pitch to Contreras or do you want to walk him and load the bases again with one out? Line drive left center field. That is in the gap and down. It's off the wall. Perkins is in. Weimer's in. Brewers have the lead. That's a nice snatching back right there. Well, maybe they should have pitched around Contreras. Set up the double play. First pitch, and Contreras able to find the gap in left center. A slider that hung up in the zone, and the Brewers take a lead. Boy, did they need that. All the way back from four to nothing down, and now they take a six to five lead. And now go get greedy. A three spot in the seventh. Owen Miller. And a ground ball left side. Base hit. Contreras has to hold at third. And still only one out with runners at first and third, so the Brewers could get more. Here is Willie Adamas. On the ground towards third. Longoria goes to second, one to first. Not in time. Brewers get another run. All right, Brewers hustling down the baseline today. Well done. Willie Adamas trying to beat that throw and gets the run batted in. Seven to five, Brewers. It's the last chance for the Diamondbacks. Now three and one on Ketel Marte and the dangerous Corbin Carroll looming. On the ground to first. Miller's got it. Steps on the back, throws to second tag. Got a double play. Game over. What a comeback for the crew. 7-5 the final. You know, this is the kind of a win that can turn things around for a team that has struggled to score runs.